Ooh, there's a little, gotta get, let it get up the temperature here, but. This thing feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I'm gonna like this thing. I can just tell. So today I'm gonna get fuel in this thing. We we drained all the all the fuel out of it because it was bad. So I went and I've already put five in it. I'm putting another, well, four and a half, plus some uh, fuel injector cleaner, well, fuel system cleaner. Um, so that way we're, we're starting fresh. And then next thing I'll do is I'll get the brakes bled, um, fill it with coolant, and then we can fire it off and see how it sounds with this, this exhaust system on it. Uh, we've got lots more to do on it, but I think Matt wants to hear it and see how it, see how it sounds with this on it, because we've got other systems coming that we know if we're keeping it for now or not. So anyway, I'm going to do that, and then we'll, we'll work on bleeding the brakes. It's really close up, Mike. Very close up. Good thing I shaved. Yeah. It smells a lot better than the other stuff. Right? It smells like gas instead of like paint. It doesn't smell like, like old paint or something. Some real good B-roll here with the gauge going up, Mike. We got the pressure bleeder hooked up. So I start with the uh, right rear outside bleeder, then inside, then I'll go to the uh, left rear outside to inside, and I'll do the right front outside to inside, and then follow last but not least the, the uh, driver's front. All right, so the brakes are all bled. Um, everything's back together. O2 sensors are in. Fluids are all changed. Uh, so one of the last one of the last things I need to do before I put coolant in it, I'm going to go ahead and and get this fan hooked up. So this is, this is CSF radiator, and it comes with its own fan. But the fan, as you can see, this is the plug it came with. So it came with that, which does not plug into our module, the factory module. So what I did was I took the plug that was on the factory fan and I am going to solder and uh, um, shrink tube this back together so it plugs in the module. And then for now, I haven't, I haven't fabricated a bracket yet. I'm going to, um, but for now, I just want to get this plugged in and then we'll uh, get some coolant in the car and then we can fire it up, make sure it runs well and that Matt likes the sound. So I'm going to do this now and then um, We'll move on. Okay. How's that sound, Mike? Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. You're thinking about selling all the BMWs and buying some Evos. BMW Mitsubishi, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Matt's thinking about selling the E92 and buying a fleet of these. Evo 3. Yeah. yeah Evo 8, 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to get carry on with this. Solder iron works pretty darn nice. Yeah, I like that thing. It's not like good for if you're like soldering all the time, but like for things like yeah, this. Yeah, it's perfect. You don't have to get the Yep. The wires up. Yep. There we go. Nice and clean, ready for the next guy. All right, got some parts overnight from Japan, Mike. These are the brackets, the pieces. Chris, uh, Chris Gorberry's video gives the links to all of the exact parts you need to put the JDM bumper on. The JDM bumper arrived, the rear bumper arrived at um, Jose's shop. He's going to come up and uh, he's gonna grab the gas cap to match the paint. And then um, he'll paint the, uh, the rear bumper. We'll talk about how we're gonna paint that. I don't know if you, I don't know if on the JDM bumper in the rear, the little, little bottom section, I don't know if that stays raw or if we paint that gloss black or how that works. And then this exhaust won't last very long because uh, the HKS stuff will be here on Friday next week. So <laughs> we basically put this on just to turn it on and then realize it sucks and then take it off, we'll see. We'll see. Everybody keeps telling me that the uh, test pipe is, is a must. Is a must? Yeah, the, the high flow cat, you lose lots of power. Lots of power. Oh, yeah. It might make sense, I mean, it's a little baby two liter. You know, every li little, little bit of less restriction. And on a turbo car, I don't think back pressure man matters as much as it is on an NA car, you know? Yeah. I do need to order those beat rush. 
Braces, I want those. I'm a sucker for braces. Even though I'm not certain I've ever felt the difference from a brace, I like it. <laughs> I like, like this brace here, I'm like yeah. this is gonna do nothing. Yeah. But you know, when you take the car to the limit like you do, you need bracing. Mm. So does that, does that, um, what is that and bushing I, for? That's a motor mount. Oh, is there a new motor mount on the new it, brake? I think it, yes, there is. Uh oh, I don't like to mess with motor mounts. Motor mount equals vibrating. Well, it's rubber. I'm just pumped about my uh, heat wrap. Well, it looks like this is direct replace. Yep. I think. Anyway. Looks like it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. That's going to be cool. What is the point of this thing? This isn't going to be any more rigid than the other one. Probably, maybe less, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure uh, it's what about I'm gaining from this deal. It's about, well, it's lighter. By one kilogram. We use kilograms on these cars, Mike, right. in Japanese cars. Okay. All right, kilograms. I'm going to make the conversions. <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe I just leave the Evo 8 bumper. I, the Evo 9 bumper I haven't gotten yet. Like, I haven't shipped it yet, so mm. I don't know. We'll see. If it becomes a problem to get, then you'll just say good enough. Screw it, yeah. yeah. You can always do it later when it does show up. Yeah. I'm not much for the later of anything. I know you aren't. Not much for patience. Let's no. just get her done. I'm waiting on my oil catch can, all the reservoirs. They must be making those things. Probably a lot of stuff's been ordered that hasn't been ordered in many years. Yeah, like who, what, what's with this influx, sudden influx of orders? <laughs> <laughs> all these things, they haven't sold these in 10 years and all of a sudden, some weird guy in Florida. Yeah. Starting a business or something. Yeah, that looks kinda cool. For this, or did it, come with, did it come with bolts? Because these are now longer than what? No, these know. are just OEM bolts that they attach to it. So they probably just cut them off. Shorter. Oy. I made a post that's been seen by a uh, hundred people. <laughs> it's like no one on here. I can't help on like, uh, you know, all these guys have all these problems. Yeah, because this thing's pretty finicky, I think. Well, it's finicky when you start jerking around trying to make a thousand horsepower. I don't give a crap about that. Yeah. IAT sensor location, I don't know. Extended exhaust hangers, I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Squeaky Recaro's, I don't have that because mine doesn't have 800,000 miles on it. Oil pressure dropped. Only I don't know anything about that. Two step. Come on, get out of here, you freaking dork. Uh, window wind deflectors. Don't buy those. They look stupid. I don't know what else to say here. Just need to find some stuff tonight to comment on. I used to go find like an old post and just. Show and shine. Maybe I can do something there. No, nope, nothing. This aggressive wheel thread has 4.3 million views. That's pretty crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling like I want to do computering today. No computering today. I kind of like seeing those green pads. Makes yeah. you feel very JDM, you know? Yep. It kind of bends in place. That thing's gonna add some, add some serious rigidity there. Mm -hmm. You know, because it had like a quarter inch gap that pulled in. Well, the motor was hanging a little bit because they took this motor mount loose. Yeah. So it was hanging from the top one, so they flexed a little bit, I think. And we'll cut this sucker off. We should swap our sway bars over gonna this crap out. Oh boy. Oh boy. That sway bar. <laughs> this would probably be, oh yeah, this would be just like the Civic. I ain't doing that. 
You gotta drop the whole subframe out to get that sway bar out of there, I think. All right, so now we can lower it and put coolant in it. Everything else is buttoned back up. We'll do something with that. Fabricate the loop. We need to save this, for this original OE part here. <laughs> You don't want to hurt the value. Mm -hmm. I think it might be a little bit past that. <laughs> well, we haven't done anything, nor will we be doing anything that can, can't be undone. Yeah. The only problem is we have a video evidence of. Uh, well, of yeah, but I mean, we're doing it. You can't correctly. lie about it. Like no, no, uh, no, no. We would never do that anyway. Yeah. It's our all original. Yeah. Go dig the battery out of a. Uh, yeah. Advance Auto's battery yeah, that's pile. That's full. So well, we don't need this anymore. So now you have a Mitsubishi specific adapter. Mm -hmm. so, Mitsushino adapter? Mitsushino. Yeah. I think it does Mazda as well. Oh, that's really we, important. I don't think I gotta worry about no. that. <laughs> well, Bryce, you might wanna use it one day. No Mazdas is gonna be showing up here. Okay, so that's done, that's done, that's done. We don't have the snorkel in, but. Mazda. Mazda. That's how the Canadians say it. Yeah, Mazda. I think the, I wanna say Wisconsiners say it that way too. That's done, that's in, these are in. Put the brake snorkel on there, freshy. Yeah, we can, sure we can. Fresh OEM right there. Yeah. That'll be round two is the uh, intake. Yep. Intake this. Oh, you know what? It doesn't work with this radiator. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> really? I was like, what's going on here? Am I screwed up? No, it doesn't. Nope. That's weird. Yeah, this is high. All right. So I guess we're warm air intaking now. Shoot. Well, I guess I gotta get moving on an air box. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's not super cold air anymore. I wonder if it makes sense to just take the darn top of the box off then. Probably not, because then what's gonna hold the filter in? Mm -hmm. Horsepower. Yeah, lots of suction. Yeah. All right. Well, so we need some kind of funnel here. Yep. <clears throat> Preferably one that fits nice and tight in there. We can leave it kind of full. I got like 50 of them. Mm -hmm. I think you need a bigger one. So this coolant isn't green, it's blue. No leaks. This is just like screaming horsepower right now. Fresh coolant makes me feel accomplished. Serious. I don't hear anything draining on the ground, so I think we're good. Yeah. Good. I mean, don't you have to run it and then yeah. add? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. take this thing off. Mm-hmm. I don't like the look of that. Okay. I'm gonna try my Japanese. 12 millimeter. Mike, that's very close. Look at this. <laughs> this is sweet. Did you put oil in it? Yep, it's full. I put oil. No, no oils. So we want to ignition bump it to get the oil in the turbo. Just kind of bump it two or three times. Mm-hmm. Get a little oil flowing. Mm-hmm. Did you learn that from the Mitsubishi Bros? Oh yeah, yeah. I never knew. You would have never known that yeah. otherwise, huh? No. I don't do any ignition bumping. Thanks for putting your hand right on there where I just cleaned the handprints off. My That's... hand's clean. I'm just making sure we didn't, I don't wanna make sure we didn't leave any of these nuts loose. These were a pain to get to. Someone said that uh, the exhaust gasket, the manifold gasket, we should have used a new one. It was new. Mm. The car's probably never even seen red line. No, certainly not. Gotta use the Japanese tools to work on a Japanese car. Yeah, you've got it all, all the bases covered now. Works with German better. tools. All the best. 
You know, if you buy that Hyundai you were talking about, I don't know if Koreans make any, any decent tools. tools. No. What was it, the Veloster you were thinking about? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't even buy that in the iRacing game. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll leave that out. I deleted it from the Forza game. I'll go put that in our coolant recycling bin. We'll do the power steering when the reservoir comes. We already did the ACD. We'll just siphon, we'll just suck this out of this container and put it in the new reservoir. I've got a new reservoir for this. We're looking good. Oh, you need to do the timing belt. He keeps procrastinating on that. I'm gonna be real sad when we turn this thing on and the timing belt explodes. <laughs> do all this work. Engine blows up. Waste all that money on those new fluids. I think the likelihood of that is darn near zero. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this little twisty thing on here. I know this is a little big for this job here. Yeah. I grabbed the big one. Twelve foot pounds. Perfect. Exact. A couple little bumps. put the wheels on it, you can go out and drive it. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be all raspy. No, it sounds pretty decent. Is your turbo manifold leaking, Mike? No. You gotta make sure on the YouTube comments your it's turbo not, manifold's it's, not leaking. It's not leaking, Bryce. <laughs> I don't know, nice. I think I heard a little Yeah, I'm sure you, I'm sure you did. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Nope, not bad at all. I thought it was gonna be like, like all raspy and... I think once you get under load, it'll sound better too. Yeah. yeah. I heard it start up and I was like, that's not the Evo with that exhaust. That doesn't make any sense. And then I was like... It sounds pretty else good. Why make that noise? I can't drive anywhere with these badges on here. Oh, I can't, I, it's not registered. I don't have a plate. Well, you can drive it around that, right here. Have you guys here. ever yeah. stopped anyone in Florida? Yeah. <laughs> it, it actually, it's, it's super clean. Like there's hardly any exhaust in here. The fishing line. This one, the cool thing is, this one comes off too. But people won't know what it is now. You can't impress pe all the people in Lady Lake that you have been. Mm. They'll think it's a regular Lancer. Mm. I think you should just take leave the take the Evolution off and take the Mitsubishi and just leave Lancer. On it. Come on, save me an hour. Triple diamonds. It's always better if you can get it off without the, uh, without using fishing line. Gotta keep this badge, Matt. That's a BC racing. This is where value is, Matt, here. Mm-hmm. If you ever resell this, we need to put this back on. It's important. Holy cow, this is awesome. This thing's coming right off. Good job. Good job, Mike. You're a good guy, Mike. Yeah, a little close. That is kind of cool. We'll just leave it just like that. 
Even the font is terrible. Yeah. Should be more like block letter. That font is kind of... This just came off pretty nicely, though. I mean... Hey, Mike, shouldn't it be recording? Yeah, sure it is, Mike. You see that? You can read. Oh, yeah, sure. Look at that. It comes right off, see. man. This is great. All I need is just a little Tarx wipe down and we're clean, clean living. Badgeless for the for the wind, bros. Surprised I waited this long to get this thing off of here. Mike, that's really close, Mike. I think you should swing that camera around 180. It people want to know. What you look like, Mike? What other parts do we have to put on this thing over there? We might as well wait to do the spray bar stuff for the suspension, right? Yeah, agreed. Yeah. And coils. Let's mm -hmm. slap that on there real quick. Well, you want to drive it first, and then we can see what's what? It's a lot of work to get this thing out of here. How much work? I'll drive this out of here, and you can drive that out of there. I got to move the E36. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of work. I'll move it for you. All right, we'll put the wheels on. I think I'm gonna get um, Weds, Wed Sports, that are um, a 35 mil, eight, an 18 by nine and a half, 35 millimeter offset, which means I wouldn't even do You wouldn't anything. even need spacers then. Right? I wouldn't need spacers then, I wouldn't, uh, but I don't know, it's 10 millimeter sunk, because 22 plus 22 is the right size. So hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You gotta spend some money. So, we're gonna put these dampers on. Hood dampers, get rid of the, the stick. A really nice carbon fiber overlay. I wonder if that's real or not. It looks, oh, looks pretty good if it's fake. It could not be any more uh, could not be any less excited about getting uh, three grand worth of snap-on tools. Just finishing the project, finishing the job. So it works or doesn't work? How in the heck they think that's going to work? This comes down and hits here. This contacts this. Yeah, well, take well, what it happens? off. Could we potentially flip it? Would it allow us to do that? And then maybe the bulk of it would be up here and this would oh, be Oh yeah, there. did you put them on backwards? No, they well, showed it, this is the way they showed it. Yeah, this this yeah. is the way they show it in the illustration. Yeah. Skinny part up top. The problem is, it's, these are just all generic kits. And they because when it, com it. when it compresses like this, it's gonna be in the same spot. I, yeah. There's been other people that have installed this, so why don't they say that this is unacceptable? I don't get it. Because they're evil brothers. <laughs> they don't notice body lines. Dang, I like it. Okay, so. We tried to use the hood struts that Matt bought for it, and they don't work. They bind. We tried them flipping the strut one way or the other so that the rod was on one end um, versus the going towards the hood, and they, they bound up. They hit, what they do is they hit the um, strut tower and uh, bind, and then the hood that pushes the hood up good, you know, three eighths of an inch. So, no bueno. So, we got rid of them. We're going to go with the old stick method. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's got any experience with them, but they don't work. We try, like I said, we tried them both ways. I tried adjusting the brackets, and they just don't work. So, and then Matt ditched the idea of deleting, well, at least the kit that he bought, deleting the rear wiper for now, because it was just literally a sticker with some. Yeah, it's because all these Evo dorks. Yeah. Tell me, oh, uh, you know, kill all wipers. Yeah, no, you idiots. It's the biggest piece of the waste of thirty bucks I've ever wasted. Yeah. It's complete garbage. I'm leaving the wiper on. Idiots. So there you go. I will listen to none of you. So don't even make suggestions. You're done. You're all dead to me. I'll make, <laughs> I'll make my own choices from here on out. Yeah. There you go. Yep. What's going on with the hood now? Now the hood doesn't sit right. No, it does. Look okay, at it from here. What's going on here? Looks like it's not. Maybe. Oh, it's probably not. Here. Get the pop. You broke the hood. This is what you get for doing goofy cosmetic junk. It's the, it's the equivalent of a snap on tools. Yep. 
still up. Well, there's oh, there's a rubber adjuster here. Someone's probably playing with it. Pop it again. There's a rubber bump down here. I bet someone turned it. See this right here? More, I gotta do a little more. Someone was playing with it, I knew it. I know who it was too, I bet you the fiddler himself right here. <laughs> That's good, okay, we're good. Gosh, I've never seen so many people unanimously, kill all wipers, kill all wipers. I got like 50 comments, direct messages, emails, I bought it, it's the biggest piece of junk I've ever seen in my life. I literally just opened it up and threw it right in the trash. <laughs> he did. Like, what is wrong with you people? Uh, the only benefit I can give to them is that like they didn't actually like they just knew about it, but I haven't actually ever ordered anything from there. Give me a break. Should have known it has a Grim Reaper on there. That's their logo. Yeah. Should have known better. Here I am cleaning my brand new. <laughs> have to clean my Snap-on tools. It has to be like nine times washed before you can actually use them. Then all the snap-on dorks keep these things in the cabinets. You know what I do with them? Trash pile. Man, I don't have time. I'm too busy working. Sure you, sure you are. Seven to three, and then you're home on the couch. While I'm still really working. Yeah, I'm uh, about checked out of the snap on, wasting money, wasting. All right, let's see if this little puppy explodes. I think it's going to be good. I'm selling this thing if I hate it or not. It's actually a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Close that door. Uh-oh, we got something smoking. No, it's the header or the uh You gonna do a launch, bro? <laughs> I can't, I just gotta <laughs> it see that <laughs> see that the uh it's the header burning off. Oh. Uh, that's power. I feel like I can just go off-roading. It's a rally car, right? Oh yeah, I forgot the brakes are brand new. This exhaust is pretty good. Let's see if we got any drone. Oh yeah. Let it get up the temperature here, but this thing feels pretty good. <laughs> I'll have to go out and bed the brakes. Why do I have all three tarmac, gravel, and snow on? This isn't supposed to be one? Like, aren't isn't it supposed to be one light? This is gonna be fun. This is pretty good. <laughs> Seems like everything's working. Brakes actually, the brake pedal feels really good. Yeah, it's not a good sign that I got all three lights on. I'm gonna like this thing. I can just tell. You know, I'm not very good at faking it. So, you know, people buy things and they have to like it because your self-worth is attached to it. Well, I'm not, I'm the opposite of that. I'm like, if I don't like it, let's get out of it. Well, look at the G80. It was like, I had it for a couple weeks. We're getting close to temp. <laughs> this is cool. I don't have a plate, a 
it's not registered. It is insured, though. This exhaust isn't bad. I thought it was going to be terrible. It sounds pretty good. Like, it's not really droning. I mean, it's making noise, but... I like it. Change the power steering fluid. The suspension will go on. Oh, shoot, brakes don't quite stop yet. This is what it's made for, going up little rally ramps like this. Oh. <laughs> Imagine we have another like you know 60 or 70 horsepower with a bigger turbo and yeah I don't hate the exhaust so I, I think the combo is probably gonna end up being the one of the HKS's with the test pipe on it. I think that's probably gonna, what I'm going to end up with. Feels good with new tires. It is kind of nice to not have a low car where you can just kind of cruise over bumps and not worry about scraping the front end. That was my original plan with this car, so I could just pull off the side of the road if I needed to. I feel right in this though. You know, you just sometimes you sit in a car, you know, like you get in your E46 and you feel right. I think I just feel right in this. It sounds good. Yeah. And then when we get the intake, it'll make a little more. Um, Gotta have, a, gotta have a sweet blow off. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna buy my intake right now. I gotta find a tuner. So what do you think? Should we do PPF on this? I'm thinking. I'm thinking no. got the seat bracket so although I'm not exactly sitting up very tall but it'll lower the seat a little bit the steering wheel doesn't telescope but it does you know you, I didn't realize I thought it was fixed somebody was saying that I'm gonna hate the steering position but I don't mind it burning off. Most of it's probably the uh, the wrap, you know. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I can tell. It sounds great. Sounds I can't believe it. I thought it was going to be all raspy. You fulfill your JDM hot boy fantasy. It's got a little juice to it. It's got, <laughs> it's got a little, got a little. Oh yeah, well all that wrap, you know, all that Kevlar's <laughs> got to burn off for sure. I like it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I gotta go bed. The brakes. I mean, the brakes aren't. You know, I gotta. I gotta take it out and do that. You might, you might have bought six exhausts for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, the exhaust is good. I don't like the turnout. So what I'll probably end up doing is probably do one of the H casters with a test pipe. The only thing is the all three lights are on though, so I don't know. The ACD, the, the 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 gravel, tarmac, whatever. It's good. It needs 18s for sure. 18s lowered. I'm the, I, yeah, I gotta get the other. I think the, the Evo 9 front bumper is way better. I ordered it, hasn't shipped shipped yet. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna order the headlights, tail lights. C37. Yeah. I know, that's why I wanted to do them. TC105 Yep. Yeah, and I can get them on Nengen for like 1800 bucks. Yeah. $800 ship, $2,600 all in. Yeah, Eight, wheels, they're 18, they're plus 35, so they'll, you know, they'll be a little bit sunk, but not, then I won't have to roll if I don't want to. Yeah, I like it. <laughs>